Sixth grade lesson four, this is missing numbers and multiplication. And then also missing numbers and division. Okay, so you know how we did adding and subtracting missing numbers last time? Mm -hmm. Now we're doing multiplying and dividing missing numbers. Okay, so let's take an easy problem again at first. Four times three equals 12. Okay, do you remember what these two are called? Uh, Start the with F. Factor. Yes, do you remember what the answer is called? The sum. No, that's for adding. Good job. Uh, pro. That's a good product. Very good. Okay, now, if we have a missing number in multiplication, if I have a missing factor, what do I do to get the answer? You add the numbers you have. Okay. Maybe. Remember, no. the opposite of adding is subtracting. What's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. Dividing. So how am I going to get... This answer. 12 divided by 4. I'm going to take 12, take the numbers I do have, and divide them. We always have to have the bigger number here because you can't divide a smaller number. Yeah. Right? So, what is 4 times what? It would be 2. 4 mm -hmm. times 3. Oh. 4 plus 4 is 8. Really? Oh, yeah. Two, yeah. Good job. Okay, so 3. So, we know that n equals 3. Okay, Good. let's try this one. Something times 3 equals 12. How do I get that answer? Um, same thing. Same thing. Good observation. Okay, so when you have missing factors, remember they're both, these are both factors. Just like adding has both add-ins. Yeah. Add-ins. Okay, so the rule here is when you have a missing, write this down, oh. a missing um, number in multiplication, Missing factor? Huh? Did I write factor? Yeah, missing factor. If you have a missing factor in multiplication, you will always divide to get your answer. Always. Always divide. Okay. Okay? Got it? Okay. Now, we could use the common sense rule, if you don't remember that, and go, okay, here's my biggest number. If I, do I need a bigger number here and then multiply it by three to get this? No. Uh -huh. I need a smaller number than 12. Remember, you always look at your biggest number. Do I need a bigger number here or a smaller number than 12? Oh, you need we a need bigger. A well, right? if I have a bigger, oh, than, bigger 12, number than 3, but a smaller number. Now listen, if I did bigger than 12, let's say 13, 13 times 3, is that going to equal 12? No. No. So I need a smaller number than 12 up here. Yeah. Smaller, how do you get smaller? Dividing something out or multiplying? You need, uh, dividing? Uh, dividing. Dividing makes smaller. Multiplying makes bigger. Subtracting makes smaller. Subtracting makes smaller. Adding makes bigger. You get it? Yeah. They're kind of hand in hand. They kind of go hand in hand. Okay. So I know I need a smaller number, and in order to do a smaller number, what do I do? I divide. Divide. Right? So if I have 12 eight, by three. and then I divide it into four places, it makes my number smaller. Yeah. So dividing makes smaller. Two, 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 and two. Multiplying eight and eight and eight makes bigger. Eight times eight is 64. 64 times eight is I don't know what, but it's bigger than that. So you see, it makes it bigger. Okay? So we want a smaller number in order to get smaller. You do 12 divided by 3. Remember, you divide to make smaller. Yeah. So this is 4. So we know that n equals 4. And then we can check it. So remember, you can always use the common sense rule by looking at the, making a big, by looking at the bigger number. And then ask if you need bigger or smaller. Okay. Got it? All right. Now, we did missing factors. Now let's do missing problems in your division. Okay, so they're going to show you this problem right here. They're putting a K, but it could be an N, an A, an X, a whatever. Okay, K over 6 equals 15. Now, this may look like what in the world are they asking me? <laughs> okay, just to help matters, let's make this an N just because we're used to using N. Okay, okay, it probably looks better in your head. Always, always, always make this problem into this kind of division type right here. N divided by 6 
equals 15. N divided by 6 equals 15. The answer is always on top, right? Yeah. So equals 15 goes here. This number divided by 6. This number divided by 6. So you see how I took this and made it into this problem. So I'm going to erase this. That's confusing to me. Uh -huh. But when I put it in this form, it becomes a lot easier. Okay. okay? So stay with me. So what we had is a missing what? Do you remember what this number in the middle is called right here, Eli? Uh, it's the dividend? Dividend. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. Dividend is on the inside. Good. What's on the outside? Divisor. Divisor. Excellent job. And what's the answer? Quotient. Quotient. Okay. Now. Okay. Do you remember... Let's look at the biggest number. What's my biggest, biggest number? number? It would be the divisor. Right now, it's the, the, the quotient. Oh, 15 yeah. is my biggest divisor number. Okay. Six. Am I going to need a bigger number than 15 to go here? Now, stay with me. Um, if I'm saying 6 times something equals this, uh -huh. what's this number going to have to be? Bigger or smaller? Bigger, right? Bigger. And how do you get bigger? You, you multiply or divide? No, no, no. This multiply. is multiplying or dividing. Multiply. Because we're working with dividing problems, you're either yeah. going to multiply or you're going to divide. When yeah. you're working with adding or subtracting problems, you're either going to add or you're subtract. Okay? So, I need a bigger or smaller? Uh, bigger. I need bigger. How do I get bigger? Multiply. Yep. What do I multiply? You multiply. The numbers I have. Yeah. 15 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 1 is 6. 7, 8, 9. 90. Let's see if that works. That's a big number. Okay, I do it just like I would do a normal problem. 6 times what equals 9? 6 times 1, one equals 9. Minus Bring down to 0. Minus 6 will go into 30. Um, 5 times. Yeah, that's right. So did I get it right? Mm -hmm. N equals 90. Now, so what you need to know is that this is a rule. When you have a missing dividend... What will you Ooh. do to get the answer? You multiply. You multiply. So if you want to write oh. down that rule, I, will. I would write down that rule if I were you. But remember, if you don't remember the rule, you can use the common sense method. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Multiply. Multiply. Okay. Okay. Now stay with me. This time... I am going to write this differently. Instead of the N being on top, like that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that wrong. <laughs> like that. And we made it um, N, which was our 90, divided by 6 equals 15. Okay? This time I'm going to put the N on the bottom. Which would be the... So let me write it over. Help dividend is the N, right? This is no, that's the divisor. This is divisor. Okay, so help me out. Okay. 90 divided by N okay. equals 15. Okay. Okay. How would you do this? So help me out. Okay, look at the biggest number, which is what? Uh, 90. 90. Do I need a bigger number than 90 to go here? Let's say 91. If I take 91 and multiply it by this, is that going to give me a 90? Uh, yes. No, no, listen. Wait, wait. If I take a bigger number, I'm oh, asking no, do I need a bigger no. or a small? If I take bigger than 90, let's say 91, and I multiply it, because remember yeah, you take this number no. and you multiply it by this one. If I take 91 and multiply it by 115, Am I going to get close to 90 as my answer? No. No. So I need a smaller number than 90 to go here. Yeah. Because then I'm going to multiply that smaller number times 15 to get 90. Okay. So to get smaller, do I divide or multiply? Smaller, you would divide. Yes. What numbers do I divide? The two I have. 
So let's rewrite this problem. I'm going to take 90 and divide it by 15 to get my answer. And then divide that. So let's take 15 times what equals 90? Um, we already know that it's 6. Okay. That was kind of easier because I know my answer is 6 because we did it a while ago. Okay. So 6. Let's do 15 times 6 over here. Yep. It equals 90. So 6 is my answer. Okay. So let's try that. Does n equal 6? Let's try it. Okay. So now I'll go 6 times 1, 6. Bring down my 0. 6 times 5 is 30. And I know I'm done. Okay. Okay. But if you don't, okay, so let me help me come up with the rule on this one. When I have a missing divisor, I will always divide to get my answer. And again, if you don't remember the rule, it's okay. Because you can use the common sense one. Soar, divisor, divide. Okay. 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 Like you got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. That is lesson four.